Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back. This is Hasan Slim. So today we are going to make a little bit project using previous tool that we have already learned in previous lectures. Today we are going to generate the table of 2, 3 or 4 or whatever using timer, for loop, if condition or the basic tools that we have already learned. So I just drag the label go to its properties I just gonna change it into 20 bar all right that's enough now I gonna remove the text okay I'm gonna now drag the timer I just drag the timer now enable it I'm incrementing its interval time now just double click on timer here's the code of the timer I'm gonna do almost same thing but now I'm gonna create I'm gonna create the project which will generate the table of two, three or four or whatever you want. Just like I plus plus. If you increment the value of I by one, I just create a string value string variable named table TBL is equal to this one. Alright, now I'm gonna setting the format in which I wanna show the output on the screen of the table I just write to multiply by plus I plus to multiply by one is equal to to multiply by i plus backslash t and backslash n will break the line after completing each that statement I need to place the plus concatenation sign over there now is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that label one dot text is equal to tbl now if I just start the program what would be happen it's showing you the table but it's not showing the previous value to display the previous value I have to change the code I will just place over there a concatenation plus sign which means it will also recur it will also save the previous value and concatenate that value with the next value now if I start the program here you can see it's generating the table but there is no limit of the table of generating now you can see it's continuously generating but I just wanna generate the table to the ten, tenth value so for that I can use if condition if I greater than 10 less than 10 then execute this code else it will not execute this code but I'm not including else section over there if you wanna include else section then what happened here you see I can set the text label one dot text is equal to limit exceeded all right now when I start the program what happened let's see two multiply by one two multiply by two three four five six seven eight nine ten after that it's showing that limit is exceeded 
I just remove that and start the program it will just stop uh, when it complete its iteration to 10 here now hope you understand what's the purpose of timer and if in the further projects we will use and we now in the further lectures we will create the small small programs I know you are thinking that what is the purpose of the timer and the little bit project uh, little bit tutorial that you are covering but these are the basics and you have to cover the basics very attentively if you want to create the big projects in the further lectures we will we are moving towards uh, creating the big projects so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe thank you